Welcome to Data Structures in C++. In this video, we're going to get set up with Google Test. The first thing we need to do is build the Google Test libraries. So let's move into the Google Test uh, Master uh, directory. Google Test Master, there we go. And we'll look and see what's in there. Um, so we're going to make a, a build directory. So make directory build. And we'll see that it's there. Yep, it's there. And let's move into it. So we're in build. OK. so. Now we're here, uh, we need to run cmake dot dot to create the make files. There we go. Let's clear this out and we'll see there's our make file. So let's just run make and we will build uh, the libraries. So once this runs, let's check to see what's in there. And you can see um, both of our libraries in there, the gtest library and the gtest main library. Uh, so we're good to go. Now let's take a look at the class that we're going to test. So over here in Atom, you'll see that we have our Z student class, and we're going to test the three methods right here, these three functions, name, ID, and GPA. Now our test code is in Google test example.cpp, so we're going to go to that. Let's break this down uh, section by section. So in the beginning, we have uh, all of our headers that we need to include. Here's the Google test uh, library that we need. Here's the headers. And in the Zeus namespace here, we are creating a class. Now this class is uh, a test case and you can see that it um, inherits from the test class right from Google test uh, and basically what's in here is there's a test object and then uh, a setup function and a teardown function. So the setup function gets called uh, before every single test and the teardown function gets called after every single test to do some cleanup. That's pretty much all that is. Uh, we'll use this class uh, to run all of our tests. All right, so down here you can see we have three tests. Now, each of these tests um, has two arguments up here. Uh, the first one is the test fixture. That's the class up here, and that gives us access to um, the objects within it. Uh, you can see we've got the student object here. Um, the next argument is actually the name of the test. So we've got name test and ID test and GPA test. Inside of each of these, you'll see uh, these expectations. So when we call these functions, we expect a value to come out. So you can see the first argument to these is the expected value, and the second argument is the actual value. We also have a main function, and we're just initializing Google Test, and then we're running all the tests. Simple as that. All right, so let's take a look at our CMake list files. Uh, the first one in the root directory is basically just telling uh, CMake to go look inside of the test directory for another CMake list file. Uh, so let's do that. So we're in here. Um, really quickly, we're just setting up some flags. Uh, we have, uh, we're telling CMake that uh, there's a couple of include directories that we need. This is the Google test one, and this is our own. This is where our student uh, header file is. And then we tell CMake to find uh, the actual Google test library, the actual files that we built earlier right in here. Uh, we put, uh, we're going to put those into a variable called gtest and we'll use it down here when we link them. Um, but uh, after that we're creating an executable uh, called Google test example and it needs this file here. And then uh, like I said we're uh, going to use this target link libraries function to link the Google test libraries uh, with our executable or our target here, uh, Google test example. So let's build our test program. Uh, so we'll go back over to the terminal. Um, let's create a build directory. So make directory and we'll call it build. And we'll see that it's there and we'll move into it. CD into build. Okay. Uh, now we need to run CMake. So CMake dot dot. And it's going to create our make file. And let's run make and it's going to build our executable. Okay, so there we are. We're good. Let's clear this out and let's see what's in here. So you see we have a test folder. Let's move into that test folder and see what's in there. Okay, so you can see that our um, executable is in there. Our actual program is here. So let's run it and see uh, what happens. So dot forward slash Google test and there we go. So you can see that all of our tests uh, passed, which is great. You can see that we have three of them here. So you have name test, ID test, and GPA test. So hopefully that was simple and easy to understand. And we're going to get a lot more practice with this uh, while we build our data structures in the next videos.